Hello and welcome to another web learning episode where knowledge is shared. In this episode, I'll show how to convert the S-Link on board into a J-Link. As you know, or probably know, all the ST Nucleo boards and discovery boards come with an on onboard S-Link debugger. This debugger is very cheap and you can buy it for about uh, 20 US dollars. This is the external ST link that you can buy it, and this is the isolated one. The J link, for example, the lowest cost is 40 42 euros or about 60 US dollars, and all the rest uh, top up uh, over 378 dollars and more. There could be few reasons to update the firmware from ST link on board to a J link. One of them uh, is the speed when you program the flash. The J-Link is much, much faster. There is also the GDB server from uh, Segar that uh, you can run it. And uh, you can use most of the J-Link features. The GDB server is a way to remotely connect to your debugger. You can read more uh, about this uh, features. The J-Link itself has uh, many different ways to connect. You can download the program with uh, downloading it into the Flash much faster. So let's try and see how this is done. So following the steps and all the features that uh, licensing and everything that they are talking about, we go down and then uh, we just follow the requirements. So make sure that the S-Link USB driver are installed. They are installed because I'm using it. Uh, make sure the J-Link software package uh, or later is installed. I'll do it now. And I'll also download the Sega Link Reflash Utility. So first of all, let's install the JLink software package. It's asking me to update Kyle MDK Sega driver. I'll say OK. And I'll click Finish. Now let's uh, install the S-Link uh, Reflash. I need to accept. Accept again. And capital A. OK. Now the options I have is uh, Crete, upgrade to J-Link, update J-Link firmware, and restore to S-Link. So first of all, I'll upgrade it. I can see the LED flashing. And let's see what I have. As you can see, I have now the J-Link driver. Let's take uh, an example program and let's see how fast it can uh, download this, the code. Let's try the BSP and see how large is that. Okay, in order to use the J-Link, we'll have to change the settings because our debugger is not ST-Link anymore, it's the J-Link. I'll go to settings, accept, I'll use the software and you can see while well, the usual ST-Link is about uh, 4 MHz, this can reach up to 50 MHz. Okay, let's try to measure this. Done. So this is about eight seconds to program. Now let's go back and convert the J-Link uh, back to ST-Link. So restore ST-Link 3. Okay, now we'll use the S-Link utility just to make sure that this is the latest version. Okay, let's 
go back to the device manager and see that everything is fine. So back at the device manager, we have the stlink debug. And let's repeat the same process. This time we'll go back to debug. Stlink debugger. Again, the settings are only 4 megahertz. That's it. And reset. And let's start. As you can see, now it's about 11 seconds. That's not uh, big of a difference, but uh, the code is not that big here. As you can see, after compilation, you can see the code size. It's only uh, 14K, and that's not a lot, uh, but you can see the difference uh, between two. And when you're using uh, different mi microcontrollers uh, like the F7, when you need to program uh, half a meg or one meg, that could be a big difference in the time that it takes you. Another feature, um, in the jailing, you can get uh, unlimited break points in the flash for evaluation only. Uh, with the S-Link, uh, also you don't have that many uh, breakpoints. The S-Link is used um, only for beginners or for uh, testing purposes. If you need uh, something professional, you will need something like the J-Link or U the U-Link or other different programmers, even if you want to use the ETM. But at least uh, with this feature, you're able to test the board at a much faster rate uh, using also the debugging with no extra cost. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Please subscribe to get more notifications on new videos that are uploading. Thank you.